Hey guys, Klauf here, and I have a concussion. So this is a new shader selector example but that was asked by ProfiCode and Techno on the Discord. So ProfiCode in the YouTube just comments and Techno on the Discord. So since two people asked for it, I figured I would at least have a bare minimum implementation since it's a little bit complicated of an effect and I'll go over how it works. So essentially what this effect is, is kind of like after image, it's referred to as phosphor in the Minecraft code. So the effect already existed, which made it not too difficult for me to add to the shader selector. So we're going to look at how that got added. So as always, this is something that is toggleable, so I can turn it off just by playing this singular particle, which has the custom colors and a value of zero, or I can turn it on with the exact same particle with a value of one. So just channel based as usual with the shader selector, and you can toggle it on and off so that users don't have this all the time. So essentially what I did was I took the default shader and I went into post. So the phosphor effect essentially takes your current frame right here and the previous frame, whatever frame I had before, and it blends them together. And you can control the blending uh, strength to control the effect uh, strength. And so inside here, we have transparency.json. In order to achieve this blending, you need to have an additional uh, target called previous, which will hold your previous frame. None of my other targets really work for this. I mean, a few of them might be able to if I get really fancy, but I decided to implement this as straightforward and obvious as possible. So this is the standard uh, shader program uh, trans post transparency right here. Uh, but instead of outputting final to main, I put final onto swap, and then I put swap onto previous to store the previous frame, and then I put swap onto main. So one thing that's nice about this is the effect will layer on top of any other effects you've included. So if you use the shader selector to have a flashlight, the flashlight will also have the effect applied to it. Now inside program, we go to toggler, and then we go to shader.fsh, and this is the only change I made uh, to any of the programs. So uh, I also have to edit shader.json, because inside the phosphor, we have to pass this previous sampler. So this gives us the previous frame, and we pass that in using this right here as a sampler. Then inside here, I add the sampler here. And then if the control channel in channel number one is exactly one, then we will generate a three vector. And this is something that is usually passed as a uniform, but I decided to make it a three vector inside here so that it's less additional stuff we're adding. Then we grab the current sampler and the previous sampler, and we mix them together using the formula in the game's code, which essentially takes the previous flame, pr previous frame times phosphor, then the current frame, and then gets the max of those two. And then finally, we do the VEC4 to turn it into a RGBA and store that onto frag color. As always, overlays would work on top of this effect and other channels can work in, in conjunction with this effect, but I commented out the other code so that it's as lightweight as possible for this specific effect. Of course, I assume you might wanna add something like a flashlight, which is toggleable, and you can put that on channel two. And if you really wanna get fancy, you can add more channels, which was discussed in the original video. Anyway, that's it for this effect, just a really cool design if you're trying to make the player very nauseous or seem like they have some kind of a concussion or something uh, and you can control the strength of the effect just by changing this hard-coded variable inside here i won't be using the doing the whole advanced thing from the uh, screen shake you can just change it inside the actual code in shader fsh if you want to control the strength anyways guys that's it for this one if you want to see more let me know what you want to see next and i will see you next time peace